She is the face of courage in the face of years of unspeakable trauma. But Jenny Haynes found all the words she needed in court today and fired them directly at the predator who damaged her for life in their Greenacre home, her own father. Jenny and her cast of multiple personalities told a judge her abuser needs to stay in jail for a very long time. It's impossible to overstate the strength it must have taken Jenny Haynes to walk into court, look her father and tormentor in the eye and tell her story. For the first time in my life, my father has actually had to hear what he did to me. Not so much the sex crimes, but the damage he's done. Richard Haynes pleaded guilty midway through his trial to dozens of counts of child abuse and rape committed more than 30 years ago. During more than an hour on the stand, Jenny Haynes described his abuse as repulsive, depraved, horrendous, sadistic, monstrous, horrific and humiliating. She detailed a vast array of physical and mental injuries that she said had lifelong consequences. One of those is her multiple personality disorder, shown in detail on 60 Minutes. Hello. The personalities, including four-year-old Symphony and teenage Muscles... Hello. Hi, Muscles. Hi. ..helped Jenny to cope. 33 of them came out in court today, sometimes crying, occasionally lashing out. Sorry, I'm Symphony. I wanted to talk to him. I wanted to tell him exactly what I thought. Although I didn't expect Muscles to jump out and call him a bastard, um, but that's better than the other word he wanted to use. So... Jenny's statement was hard to listen to, but if any of it affected her father, the man who abused her and destroyed her life, you couldn't tell. He appeared to smirk throughout her remarks, even when she pleaded with the judge to send him to jail for a very long time. He heard me, but he wouldn't look at me, um, and that's because he's a rank coward. Amazing, huh? In summary, the impact of my dad's offending has had far-reaching effects and the ramifications have destroyed my life. He sent a wrecking ball through my hopes and dreams. His utter failure to address his offending by pleading guilty at an early stage, by wasting court time, by insisting on a trial, by forcing me to testify against him, demonstrate his complete lack of remorse. He chose to plead guilty finally, not because he was struck by the enormity of his acts, but rather because he couldn't handle symphony telling what he did to her in excruciating and explicit detail. His guilty plea is an attempt to minimise his offending by making it submitted in written fo form, not out of the mouths of babes. He pled guilty to minimise the court's knowledge of his culpability by silencing symphony. A remorseful man would have pled guilty at the earliest opportunity, not wasted two years, maximised my trauma and forced me to testify. My dad has devastated every single part of my life by his abuse and the consequences continue to blight my life and will do until I am dead. There is no part of my world left untouched. He sentenced me to a life significantly less than it could have been. Or should have been. He denied me the chance to reach my full potential and straightjacketed me into a life of trauma, horror and agony. My life has been devastated by his selfishness. I've paid an enormous price for his depraved sexual desires. To date, I've been the one paying the price. His, for his actions, his abuse, his lies and his total failure to be a decent human being. Please, Your Honour, can you finally place the responsibility where it belongs? on Richard John Haynes and send, and send him to prison for a very long time. Please. Come on. Are you fucking yanking me or what?
Jesus Christ. She's got two pages. Which one's this? Oh, yeah. Haynes will be sentenced in July. Jane Azapardi, Nine News. This is the most interesting one, right? There are multiple personalities, right? We're allowed to give evidence. Give me a fucking break. What a fucking scam. Another fucking onion head. Yeah, onion head the holy. Yeah. Onion head the holy. I suppose we got to put links to all this fucking bullshit. Fucking wow. Can't make this fucking shit up, right? As clever as we think we are, there's one thing that can outsmart us all the human brain. Yeah. It is as mysterious as it is mighty. Just ask Jenny Haynes how her mind saved her life. There's a full link. I'm not going to play it. As uh, but I'll put the link in it. You know? Christ, make up your own mind after watching 40 fucking minutes of that shit. It'll blow your mind. People believe this fucking crack, I tell you. They just pop out these fucking personalities. Fucking unbelievable. Ooh.